Hello everybody. Um, wearing Newcastle for no particular reason except that I have this jersey now for two weeks or so and I barely have worn it. It's a pretty jersey so I thought it deserves some attention. Uh, I know Newcastle has not done anything. Um, the biggest game of today actually uh, happened early I think but um, I want to do it in the reverse order and actually in the order that I watched it in a way. I uh, watch the highlights and I usually start with the latest and then go. So we'll don't start in Group C, we'll start in Group D. And there the big game was, of course, Iran against Iraq, where Iran had enough chances to win that game. Iraq, just a handful, but in the end it went with a goal less draw, which didn't change much because, I mean, Iran going in had the advantage. Now with that, um, they still finish first. Uh, but it should be noted that this is a group where the top two teams uh, both have seven points. So I don't think anyone will be happy uh, having to play Iraq. That I think we can say for sure. Um, in the other game, and now it's kind of the Palestine. We know Palestine has two points. All four groups... The two that have been played today and the two that will play tomorrow have each two teams with zero points. Every draw between those bottom place teams, and they're all playing each other, of course. Um, all those draws, uh, every draw between those bottom place teams will eliminate both teams. A winner most likely will advance a team. Uh, not 100%. 100% because it depends on how many draws there are. Uh, if there are two draws, Palestine uh, goes on. If there's one draw, Palestine is for sure eliminated. Uh, and the drawing team. And then if um, there is no draw, I will go down to goal differential. I have a feeling that it will be North Korea that uh, will be eliminated of those. So North Korea is probably the one, yeah. Should be North Korea because they really have the worst goal differential. So, um, and that's how it goes. And so, Vietnam against Yemen was one of those games, and uh, it took an early turn for the better with um, Vietnam taking the lead through a nice free kick by Chong uh, Hai Nguyen. Uh, I thought at first, you know, I love free kick goals and it was really great to see that uh, the free kick goal scored and it was a well taken shot. I mean, every time you can get a shot on goal, it's good. I just feel if the goalkeeper uh, had a little bit better positioning, was taller, better react, uh, better position, it seemed could have saved it if he was maybe a little bit, a teeny bit taller, I think. Um, and that was in the 38th minute and uh, early in the second half um, Vietnam made a second goal basically sealing the deal and getting the spot in the knockout round. As I said, um, it's not 100% sure, we have to see that. I have a little, little, little look at it at the end. Um, but it looks good for Vietnam to go through. Yemen uh, in the first Asian Cup is out. And therefore, we have Group D done. Group C. Um, I had kind of two finals. The first one was Kyrgyzstan against the Philippines. Again, with the same um, uh, stakes as the Vietnam uh, game. And it was also a pretty one-sided uh, affair. With uh, I actually thought that Kyrgy Kyrgyzstan is the outsider against the Philippines, but that shows you how little I know about uh, Asian soccer. Um, Kyrgyzstan won it relatively easy, and Vitaly Lux was the three-time scorer, um, basically taking apart uh, the Philippines by the 77th minute, I think 24th, 51st, that then it was already uh, done, and then 77th, he makes it um, three. So in that sense, uh, the Philippines only got through a free kick that traveled long and also the goalkeeper didn't look well, uh, got the consolation goal. That was that. So we have Kyrgyzstan more or less going through and now I'm going to check the table here um, in Group C. Uh, have plus 
That doesn't make much sense to me. Yeah, I don't. I cannot. Here we have it. It's very co it's complicated way. So uh, Kyrgyzstan has zero, and the uh, Kyrgyzstan has zero. And let's look at Group D. I'm sorry. I should have I should have prepared it. It's gonna make a little bit of a boring video, but you know, uh, better having it all figured out. And Vietnam has minus one, so we know for sure that Kyrgyzstan is through. Vietnam looks good, but they need uh, <laughs> and North Korea win or something like that, uh, you know, to make sure that they are through. And then there was the big game uh, between South Korea and China. This was actually the early game. And to be honest, I was curious for that match for two reasons. First of all, um, can China hold on to a draw against three reasons, actually? Three. Can China hold on to a draw to uh, secure first place? They had the advantage because they were um, uh, in a better position. They had scored more goals. I think all teams won uh, with um, have, 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 having no goals conceded, but um, China was running a little bit rampant on the Philippines. So yeah, that was the first question. Second question, uh, we have Son from Tottenham now with the Korean team. What, will the imp what impact will he have? I can already say he had a pretty big impact on the game, I felt. And third, and for me, honestly, most interesting, Will Korea play in red? And if yes, what will China play in? And to my dismay, China played in very plain white Nike kits. An all white kit. Korea was playing in the um, uh, red and black. Now, little, little hope is because they had black pants. Korea black pants, they're not gonna use the black kit. I know the black kit has not been approved, but... Uh, it would be so great if they play with the black kit. This white kit looked boring as can be. But yeah, uh, at least China has now a federation crest uh, that shows something. I don't like teams when they just put the national flag here. <laughs> uh, that doesn't look right. Uh, so they have at least a federation crest that shows something. Or use a coat of arms. I always say a coat of arms is something nice to use on national team jersey. Or if you have some sort of a flag, also nice. Okay, uh, I said already, Son had a big impact. Uh, Korea started out the game in the first 25 minutes. It was basically all Korea. They really tried to take it to China. And you could see just in the highlights, even China was scrambling to keep it together. Um, and a penalty foul was committed after uh, Korea already had two chances. Um, Son in the box had the... Uh, uh, was taken down and it was a pretty clear penalty uh, for South Korea that was then converted not by Son but by uh, Huang Uljo Huang um, very interesting you know the stop step and then uh, flat hard into uh, from the uh, shooter bottom left corner if the goalkeeper was five centimeters taller and I had a longer wingspan he would have gotten that one he was in the right corner but that penalty was really 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 well taken uh, then I think Korea led up a little bit um, you know they had the lead now they, they didn't have the owners on them to do anything they still were the more dominant team and Son again uh, won a, a corner kick took the corner kick delivered it right on to um, Kim's Min J Kim's uh, had put in a goal 2 0, game done and dusted. I think with the addition of Son, and I said it, um, when I watched Tottenham earlier this season, I always was wondering. I, I saw he's good, but he was wasting chances. Um, over the past few weeks, he really, really, really came on big. Maybe not against Manchester United, but you know, also the, the hair was a little bit standing on his head. Um, but yeah, it seemed like he is one of the top players in the Premier League. And Tottenham is uh, in, that's a whole different story, but Tottenham is now in a uh, bad situation. Not only is Son missing at the Asian Cup, and I think they will be hoping that Korea goes out soon. 
I personally don't see it. I think Korea um, manifested that they're one of the best teams in the competition. And they will probably go to the semifinals. But also Kane is missing now. So yeah, Tottenham is not in a good position. Uh, that's why I ultimately decided I was, shall I wear Tottenham, shall I wear Newcastle? And ultimately decided on Newcastle because I haven't worn it. And, you know, Tottenham doesn't look that good. But yeah, Son look good. And Korea looked good. I mean, uh, beating China well, might not have been the biggest feat now, but China came crashing down to earth. I gotta say that. And uh, we're gonna see now where it goes from here. Again, let me know your thoughts on the Asian Cup so far. Um, whether you agree with my assessments. Again, I only saw highlights. And I didn't even have the time now to watch... Um, or to read a little bit up on it. So this is really just from the highlights, but I really had the feeling that South Korea was uh, super dominant. I also had the feeling that um, all the other games, I mean, Iran was dominant. They just couldn't get through. Uh, which tells me that Iraq has also a strong defense in a way. I don't sleep on Iraq. Well, tomorrow, Tomorrow, group stage finishes, and then we'll see how the round of 16 uh, pans out. And again, we already know Palestine. No favors to Palestine. They need two draws. Uh, otherwise, if we have winners tomorrow, it's going to be interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.